Morning everybody, Will, just in time prepping. Hey, before I get started, I wanted to uh, apologize for yesterday's live stream. I had an emergency family thing come up, and I had to leave after only two hours. I really apologize for that. I'll make it up to you somehow. Right now, I want to do another review for you guys. This is a little something I picked up yesterday. And, uh... So I thought, well, what the heck, you know, these things are getting kind of popular out there. And so I thought I'd pick one up and do a review on it so that you guys yourselves can figure out uh, whether you want to pick one of these up. And perhaps maybe you put it in your bug out bag or just lay it in your car in your uh, glove compartment. And if something goes wrong down the road, you'll have it. And uh, no questions asked. Uh, and so... Here's what I got. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but it's one of those uh, rechargeable electronic lighters. And it says, uh, no fuel, no flint, no flame. And uh, it's showing you that it's windproof. It uh, says it's great around the home and it charges in just a matter of minutes. Either uh, off of your computer or off of a charger of some sort. So I've seen these around. I've seen that they're getting uh, a little more popular out there. So I thought, well, what the heck, you know. I've got a little bit of uh, money saved up into the just-in-time uh, gadget fund. And I would just pick it up and do a review on it for us. So... Here's what the charger looks like on it right here. It's just a short cord, but it could be, oh, just about any recharging uh, cord that you would use for an Android-type phone. So, I don't like it because it's not very long, but uh, I do like it because it has the universal end that's coming on most phones now. So, you could use just about any charging cord on it. Because, you know, you can plug that into the little adapter thing and either put it in the wall or whatever. Or take it out and just plug it into your laptop or some sort of electronic device. So, uh, let's see. Where is it? <sighs> it's right here. Here's what it looks like right here. This is with it all done up here. Let me get it a little closer for you. I've still got all the... Uh, warning labels and stuff on it because I wanted you to see that it says warning keep away from children so it's gonna uh, charge it has a charging port right here on the bottom which is uh, you can close it up so it doesn't get dirt and lint down in there here let me try to get it up there where you can see without causing too much blur I don't know if you can see in there or not, but if I get too close, it may blur on you, but you can see that's where the charging port is. Another thing I like about it is uh, you can, it has a set screw right here where you can adjust the uh, amount of charge it puts out. So right there is uh, some black, it's hard to see, but it is there. And then also this other little thing you see right here is a uh, on off switch so that you can turn it off when you're not using it and try to save the charge i just turned it on because we're gonna fire it up and let you guys see what it's all about and i kind of like it because of the feel of it it's uh sort of like an enamel finish on it so uh, it's not going to scratch up or anything real easily Another thing, it opens uh, pretty easily with just one, one finger, like that, see, almost like a Bic, only better. And then you can see the little uh, charging thing in there, the little X, so you'll see here in a minute. I'm not going to put my finger in there when I light it, because I did that yesterday. <laughs> it wasn't pretty, I told you, it was hot. But I'm going to turn it. See, can you see that little X that's coming in there? Here, let me put this up there. There you go. Now you can see that little X that's in there. As long as you push the button, it stays on. And that's how you can uh, uh, light 
things, you know, you could light a piece of paper or whatever to get a fire started. And unfortunately, some people still smoke cigarettes, not me, of course, because it's bad for you. But you could use it to light your cigarettes, too, so a pipe, whatever. But I like it because that little button is not, like, where you would put it in your pocket and it would get pushed and de make it lose its battery charge. It uh, is indented. You actually have to try to push it in and fire it up see I think you can't really see it there you go so you actually have to push the dang thing in and it folds up like that and if you put it in your pocket then you're not going to be pushing the start button on it and making it uncharge so uh, I thought for what I paid for it it's actually worth the price it's uh, nine, It was 1988. That's what the sale price was, and that's the catch me price they put on stuff now, so that you know that it's under twenty dollars. <laughs> so uh, it's a it's a good lighter. I mean, it's heavy, kind of heavy, but I like it because uh, of the finish. The finish is more like a a nice little powder coat finish on it. I like it because the button is indented so it can't uh, accidentally be turned on and off so that the charge stays on i like it because it's rechargeable and i like it because you can adjust the amount of charge uh, when you have it lit up and that uh, you can turn it off and on right here and that way that saves the charge also i'm going to go ahead and, and turn the darn thing off and so uh, what else can I tell you about it? Let's get the thing out. Uh, it's metal alloy. Uh, it's endorsed by a guy named uh, Hunter Ellis. And it's an atomic lighter is what the name of it is. It has dual electric arcs. It's rechargeable and it's fuel free. So that's what it looks like. So if you see it in the store and you say, hey... I already know what that is. Uh, Will did a review on it. I think I'll just pick one up. <laughs> oh well, you know, that's uh see what else it's got. Uh, charges with the USB cord, which is comes on. It tells you it's got an on-off switch, that it's slim and lightweight, and that the charge it has a charge status indicator. I forgot to tell you about that. That's uh, right here on the bottom as well. So if it needs charging, it'll start blinking a blue light. And when it charges completely, then the blue light stays on uh, solid. It doesn't blink anymore. So that's what I got. Uh, atomic lighter. That's what we're doing the review on today. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, don't forget that you can uh, uh, leave comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button. Also, what else? Uh, all the money that you guys donate saves 100% in my channel so I can uh, purchase gadgets like this here. Uh, as you know, I live on disability, so I don't make a lot of money. I barely make enough to keep my son and I going. So any kind of donations that you guys could give me would be muchly appreciated. I'm not saying that you have to because I know that money's really tight for almost everybody right now. And, uh, oh yeah, we'll have the drawing Saturday evening uh, for that short uh, live stream I did. I had to end it an hour short yesterday and that kind of torqued me off. I get all the way to the school to find out it's not that big of an emergency after all. Go figure, huh? So... Anyway, uh, maybe I'll do a live stream later today and try to make up for it. But for now, that's what I have for you. I hope that uh, you guys got something out of it. Uh, if you have a spare 1988, go pick one of the things up. I mean, even if you don't smoke, you can pitch it in your uh, go bag, go home bag, bug out bag, whatever you want to call it, and uh, have a source of uh, ignition. So, for now, I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. It's Will out.